And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former England defender Lee Dixon. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of this League Art match. It's Paris FC, and they take on Lille. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Both teams will no doubt be looking for a quick start. So important to get focus from the off. Really looking forward to this. Nothing wrong with that idea. Fine cross into the middle. And you need your defender to take charge. Monduki. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And so the initial 11 for Lille. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Will he finish? And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. Well, now for a look at the table and targets are always set at the start of the season what actually happens in the course of a season can be a different matter and Bordeaux struggling a bit well you have to look twice at the table to realize they're not in a Champions League place and that's unthinkable it really is the club's in turmoil way below the standards that have been set accountability that's the key in any club top to bottom Well, he has to be regarded always as a dangerous opponent, but what should we expect to see from him in this game, Lee? Well, I'm expecting everything from him. He's an all-round player. But look at his ability in the air. It has to be! And that, a piece of goalkeeping, you're going to see again and again and again. So the corner played into the box. Not to be this time. Got to keep the ball a bit better than that. And giving them the gift of possession. Now just couldn't keep the ball. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. Played into the centre of the box. And a corner like that, every goalkeeper's dream, really. Villalba. Individual quality coming to the fore. And clears his lines. Good numerical situation. He's got to score! The opening goal, due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Well, here's the replay. He didn't panic, did he? Decent strike, good technique, bread and butter strike, really. But it's in the back of the net. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Villalba. Benzia has it. Timothy Weyer. Phil Foden now. It might be on for them. Quateng on the ball. Yusuf Yazici with it. Weah. The 
electronic board has been held aloft. Two additional minutes here. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Zeka. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been... Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Zeka. Yusuf Yazici with it. Benzia has it. Keeping the ball moving. Timothy Weah. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Yusuf Yazici with it. And given away, and fed forwards. Foden, competence from the keeper. Yeah, concentration for goalkeepers. He was spot on there. Substitution time it is. And firing it into the area. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Well, we wondered if this deal was going to be done. In fact, it has now been done, Lee. Well, Derek, I've heard the fees around £55 million. Pounds. That's the type of money you have to pay for a quality player these days. And he is quality. Make no mistake about that. And the ball with Kouame. Hector Vialba. A good and fair challenge. It is a decent looking attack here. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Cleared away. Monduki. Good looking sequence. It needs an accurate cross. And they deal with the threat this time. There's plenty of know how in the ball shielding department. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Roberts. No real conviction in the challenge. It has to be! Well, he did his best to remain onside, but just failed. Yeah, it was close. It was close, but that's all it needs to be, close. He was offside. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Baluli. Couldn't keep it. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Well, that's not the way to remain top of the list to be taking free kicks. No, his teammates will be looking at him. That was a really, really poor effort. I'm pretty sure he won't be on the next one. Roberts. Byland. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Baluli. Vialba. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. Conte. 
Slipshod passing. Quateng on the ball. Hector Vialba. And it's a case of just five minutes left. And the ball with Kouame. Baluli. They've given it away. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort the players are putting in. They just need to keep their concentration and the game should be theirs. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Very quick thinking there. And the referee blows for full time. What a perfect day for football we've got here. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for you. Our cup football is bound to be dramatic in this particular context. This should be a special game, Alan. Yeah, the winner takes all. No second leg in this tournament, so I'm expecting two sides to be on the front foot from the first whistle. Enterprising attacking play, but not quite enterprising enough. For Paris FC, the system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated. Otherwise, this formation will not work. This is how the visitors shape up. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man. Could be his game today, the way he's been playing recently. Oh, I love his heading ability. Must be a goal! Well, they've gone for it right from the off, and they've got their reward with an early opening goal here. Well, it looks simple, but this lad has got a great instinct of drifting into space, being in the right place at the right time. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Cuts it out nicely. Room in which to attack. Trying to find an opportunity. He's put his body on the line there. Thomas. Working the ball around, working the opposition around. It's a defender on top of his game here, and certainly on top of the opposition then. Conte. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition.
looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Coming really deep as a forward to get on the ball. His teammates really telling him to get up the pitch. And now the shot. Goalkeeper given an easy ride in that particular save anyway. Good defending. It'll be a throw. Conte. To Thomas. Just lost their way in the final moments of that attack. Gomez. Well, two more minutes to play, that of added time. It's given away. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. And here we go, the referee's blown his whistle, and we're off for the second half. They obviously believe that they can find this equaliser by passing their way through the opposition. Free kick given by the ref. Well, decisive from the referee, no doubt in his mind that that was a yellow card. I don't know, you know, Martin, I, I know another referee might not book him for that offence. Play back. It's a good hit. Not far away at all. Well, if they keep creating chances, I'm sure they'll take one. That was a decent effort, you know. To Thomas. Conte. Thomas. Making sure there's no turnover. Well, they are in the lead and they are on the ball, but in their own half at the moment. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. And coming up for you on EA Sports, the next League 1 uh, fixture for the home team. Encouraging play from this team now, keeping the ball. Defender has to be quick. Gomis. We now know who is going to join Borussia Dortmund. The deal has been completed. Well, he'll certainly be happy with it. And I think maybe the buying club will too, because £40 million pounds around that figure anyway seems uh, a reasonable price for somebody of his quality. Well, now they can attack, and he's got support with it. Under pressure, can he shoot? Goes for the volley. Great save. Corner played into the middle. And they've got to score soon. Well, the time for patient short passing has stopped, I think, because route one is the order of the day now as they load the box. And on the home... Well, he's gone in a bit on the wild side. That's going to be a yellow card for this player. He can't have any complaints. I thought that was possibly dangerous. The replay might tell us. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just as fraction off. This lad tends to put a bit of whip on these three kicks. Needs it here. They've got the ball back by that interception.
Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went uh, straight to an opponent. Not a good pass at all. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. Chance to get the ball in the box. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. And they're trying to dispossess him. Can they hang on to this one goal lead? The fans are trying to play their part in it happening. Yeah, and it's the approach that the home team take that will be important. Do you go on and push for another or just try and hold what you have? Well, this is how the game many people believe should be played. It's always been a passing game, but they pass with purpose too. They have, and I love the way they're using the full width of the pitch here. Substitution now. And might use up a bit of time here as well. Well, for the team that want to hang on to this lead. Well, just over 84 minutes gone. Six minutes left on my watch. To Thomas. Roberts. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Moving it nicely and productively here. It's a very good clearance and it was needed. Excellent attacking play here. They could open up the opposition now. We've got two added minutes. That's been signalled now. He's angry with the assistant. But I must say, these officials are very good indeed, and I think they probably got that offside call right as well. Yeah, I think when he looks back at the replays tonight, he'll accept that uh, he did go just a little bit early, not by much, but he was off. Final score here, 1-0. The confirmation then of their success in this cup tie today. Well, they sailed close to the wind once or twice, some good saves from the keeper, but I think they just about deserve this win.